Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create automation patterns in Reaper. Now, the project in front of me here with a synth, and it sounds like this. So I want to automate some parameters to make it sound more interesting. But I want to create patterns that repeat over time. I already have an EQ on this track, and I'm using it as a filter. But I want to automate that filter to create a pattern that repeats. So one way we could do it is to use parameter modulation. Just go to the menu, choose parameter modulation, use an LFO, and it automates all by itself. But it's hard to create custom patterns using this method. You could adjust the speed, the strength, the baseline, but the pattern is going to be very simple. If I want to create something more custom or more unique, I'm not going to use this method. Another method is to use automation items. So you can go to the menu and select Show Track Envelope. Go down here, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and draw in. An automation item. Then we can double click it, go to LFO shape, and create a shape right here. Adjust the cycles, the baseline, the amplitude. But once again, it's going to be fairly predictable. If I want to create something more custom, I would do it this way. Let's delete all this. And instead, let's automate on this track. We'll right click over here and we'll choose an automation mode. Either right, latch, or touch. Let's choose touch. Then, if we move any of these parameters, it's going to automate this plugin. So let's try to create a pattern. I kind of like the third bar here, so let's use that pattern to repeat. We'll create an automation item just for this bar, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just draw from here to here. And by default, this automation item is going to loop. So if we drag it this way or this way, it's going to loop that pattern every bar. <laughs> And just like that, we created a custom pattern that repeats. Let's try the same thing with panning. Let's hide this envelope. Let's create another one for panning. Now, by default, if we just move the panning knob, it's going to create that envelope. So let's automate the panning. <laughs> These two bars sound good, so let's create an automation item for those two bars. Then it's going to loop. If we stretch it out, let's hear that. Now, if we want, we can clean this up by editing the automation. Even though it's still keeping what we performed, we can just make it more perfect. So if we turn on the option under Envelope Points, Envelope Point Selection follows Time Selection. So if we create a Time Selection from here to here, 
and delete it, it cleans that up and makes it more perfect. Let's do the same thing over here to about here. That'll make that automation a little more solid. And what's nice about automation items is we could stretch them to change their time. So let's put this back so it's not looped. Let's hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and we could stretch it to be half as long. So it's going to play that pattern twice as fast. Then we could loop this, and let's hear it. So our panning, or this pattern, is twice as fast. Let's do a similar thing with mute. Let's hide this. Now by default, if we adjust the mute, it's not going to automate. But we can make it automate by going to the envelopes and going over here to view and arm the mute envelope. So it shows up down here. And if we mute it, it's going to write automation as we do it. So let's try to mute our synth to create a repeating pattern. The first bar was pretty good. So let's create an automation item, loop it, the whole section. Let's see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good. And once again, if we want to make it perfect, let's readjust our grid right over here to be 16th notes triplet. And let's zoom in really close and quantize the mute ons and mute offs. So we can make this a bit shorter. This one too. And now because it's looped, each bar is going to be the same. It's going to repeat that pattern on each bar. And because we cleaned it up, it's going to be perfect. And if we want to see each one, just make them visible right here. our panning, our mute, and our frequency. And just like that, we created repeating automation patterns for any of the parameters that we're using. It's a lot more customized or unique to automate them first and make a repeating pattern out of each of them. So that's pretty much it. That's creating automation patterns in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.